So, my little gastronauts, you all think you know what a pig is, don't you? Oh, Richard, sorry. Um, look, I am talking to the punters, all right? Would you mind looking at me? Thank you very much. Right. Today, we are talking about pigs. I bet you there's not one in ten of you that knows what a real pig is, because you accept the real rubbish that the breeders of their injected, bloated, plastic-style, factory-made pigs pass off as pork. Come back down here, Richard. I have got a real piece of pig. Look at that thick fat there. Look at that little line of gristle under there, which makes the crackling. Look very close here. This is still rough. You could sandpaper the window ledges with this, and that would make the mustard, the salt and things stick on there to get the crackling on a proper roast joint that you want. But as I said, most of you are such fools. You put up with the rubbish of supermarkets, hypermarkets and pig breeders. You don't realise that, like here on Heels Farm in Devon, you can get fabulous pig. Anyway, enough of that. That's my little lesson, my lecture. We're now going to cook it. But before I cook, it's very hot. The lights have been burning on me all morning. A sip of cider from a field right outside this kitchen window. And here's an interesting thing about this dish. Not only is it simple to make of pork, but come and look at the ingredients because it's significant. They all come from the same field. The pig lives off the apples, which incidentally I've turned into a smooth apple puree there, by the way. In, this, in the adjoining field, there's a cow from which they made the milk, from which they made the cream. The apples are also turned into cider. The only foreign thing here is that we couldn't make it ourselves. It's against the law. We distilled some cider to make some Calvados. Then we have butter, also from the farm, foreign salt and pepper. Right, that's it. Come on, over here, please. This is the frying pan. This is for Richard's benefit. He's our new cameraman. He's still feeling his way a bit. No, stay over here. Come on. Right, into the pan, a little bit of pork like that. Stay with that while I wander around. And a teeny weeny bit of butter. Notice the pan is hot already, as I always do. Seal it quickly on both sides. Because this is a real pig that hasn't been fed on additives and alleged nutriments and things like that, it's going to be tender and very, very delicious. That's too hot now, so we put that over there and let that cook away for a while while I have a little slurp. Slurp, 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 slurp. Great, so you see the pork is nicely cooked now. We add a little drop of Calvados, like that. Push it over onto the hotter of the two gases. Immediately lift out the pork because that is lightly undercooked. Although it's crunchy on the outside, we don't want it to stew in this liquid. Then, a bit of cider into the Calvados. Meat drippings stirred like that. And now, using the magical... Richard, could you come to me a second, please? Using those magical mixes we have on television, the next time you see this, the sauce will have reduced, five minutes will have gone by, and the dish will be continued. Perfect, isn't it? So, there you see that's reduced to almost a syrupy consistency now, the Calvados and the cider. In we put a spoonful, I should think, of this beautiful apple puree. Stir that in well into the juices. At the same time, pour in this lovely Devon double cream. Stir around, test for seasoning. Oh, ha, ah, ah, come here a minute, Richard. That is absolutely brilliant. I'm really sorry that none of you are going to get to taste this. You'll have to take my word for it. It's fantastic. Over to the plate, over to the plate. Beautifully liaised. Pour that gently over, like that. And there you have a dish which is called pork normand. In fact, we shall call this pork heel farm style because it's all the wonderful ingredients of the Calvados countryside in northern France you can find here in Devon. And since I'm such a brilliant cook, first-class ingredients, there it is, pork heel farm style.